How is love portrayed in the short movie form? A closer look at Paperman and similar animated shorts. Animated short movies are an important part of the short movie medium. As Powell notes in his book Animation, Genre and Authorship, animation is arguably the most important creative form of the 21st century. Animation as an art, an approach, an aesthetic and an application informs many aspects of visual culture. One of the leading production companies that consistently releases animated shorts is undoubtedly Disney Pixar. They've released numerous shorts that have become critically acclaimed. Examples include Piper, Bao and many more. A common theme in these animations is usually the theme of parenting. But a few of Disney Pixar's short movies deal with love and the relationship between two heterosexual characters. Most notably Lava, Blue Umbrella and Paperman. Paperman is the one that stands out the most because it was released by Disney Animation and not by Disney Pixar. Additionally, this animated short stands out from the rest because of its animation style and the portrayal of human characters with realistic body shapes. Paperman is directed by John Cars and it was released in 2012, screened alongside Wreck-It Ralph and it won Academy Award for Best Short Film in 2013. Its plot revolves around a man who has a chance encounter with a beautiful woman while waiting at the train station. Their encounter is short but sweet and it leaves the man wanting to see the woman again. Suddenly, he goes to his normal job where luckily he sees the woman again at the building opposite his. The predominant theme of Paperman is undoubtedly love. Love has been the main theme of many feature films and short films alike. When looking closely to how plots written about love in the short movie form are structured, there is a noticeable pattern that's being followed. The plot usually focuses on two characters, male and female, who seem to like each other. They eventually get together, most commonly by the end of the short film, after they've overcome an obstacle of sorts that was between them. Looking more broadly at the plot of Paperman, much of that formula is being followed as the characters do get together at the end after a notable amount of effort, mainly from the male protagonist. In their book from 2007 titled Cinema of Obsessions, Erotic Fixation and Love Gone Wrong in the Movies, Dominic Maynon and James Ursini explore the different ways through which characters express their love on screen, as well as the male and female gaze in movies. When discussing the male gaze, they identify a similar pattern that concerns the male protagonists, who would fixate on an image, usually a woman, and then try to mold her to fit some sort of an idea, or to save her from some perceived threat. Unfortunately for them, the project is usually unsuccessful as they encounter a plethora of obstacles. In Paperman, the woman isn't in any type of danger, but the male protagonist does fixate on her and encounters numerous obstacles to reaching her. According to Dr. Richard Raskin's criteria on what makes a good short movie, one of the main criteria would be character focus and character interaction. Paperman wastes no time to establish whose story it's telling. In its opening image, it shows the male protagonist and seconds later the female love interest steps into frame. The male and female characters of Paperman interact a total of two times without any dialogue. The lack of dialogue is a well-established feature of many short movies, including most of Disney Pixar's shorts. In an interview for Music Bled Block, Richard Raskin outlines what he considers the main differences between short movies and feature films. He notes that one of the differences is that, in short films, wordless storytelling is a real option. When there's no dialogue in a movie, it means there's more room for the expression of emotions through the body language and facial expressions of the characters. Just like in the Blue Umbrella, where the Blue Umbrella gets to only meet the Pink Umbrella for a brief amount of time, there is still enough on screen for the audience to see that there is a connection being formed solely because of the genuine smiles on the little animated faces of the umbrellas. In Paperman, when the male and female characters interact, it is their well-defined facial expressions and reactions to each other, like the woman touching her hair, that indicates the mutual attraction they have for each other. These two examples show how short animated movies can portray love and attraction through the combined use of image and sound in ways feature-length movies can't. The plot similarities between The Blue Umbrella and Paperman don't end there as both shorts focus on what would be the male protagonist 
and in Bortrope movies in the end it is factors outside of the character's control that brings them together. Love in the Blue Umbrella is portrayed as something that is almost meant to happen, regardless of what the characters try and do. The same can almost be said about Paper Man. One of the main differences, however, is that there is great effort from the male character to get together with the woman. And even though, ultimately, it's the paper coming to life and pushing the characters to be together, it is the male protagonist who gives shape to the paper into paper planes and he is the one who throws them. This fits into Ruskin's criteria for causality and choice, because it is the choice of the man to pursue the woman that eventually causes them to be together through his consistent efforts while throwing the paper planes. Another one of Ruskin's criteria that can be applied to Paper Man is consistency and surprise, namely while he throws the paper planes. He consistently throws them and ends up running out of paper with only one page left the page on which the woman's red lipstick is marked. As it is a special object, the audience would expect it to be the one that gets the woman's attention, but he doesn't even get to throw the paper plane as the wind blows it off his hand. Regardless of that, at the end of the short, it is still that paper plane that brings the woman together with the man. It can be argued that what Paper One is trying to convey to its audience is that sometimes, even if our efforts to get through to a certain person might seem in vain, our efforts still might end up doing something on a scale that isn't visible to us. The paper as an object plays a great significance in the plot of Paper Man. It is ultimately the reason why the man and woman get to meet in the end, combined with the man's efforts. As Richard Ruskin states, short films sometimes allow physical objects charged with meaning for their characters to bear important parts of the storytelling. The character and object dynamic is another one of Ruskin's criteria and is arguably the one that plays the most important part in Paper Man. Whenever the protagonist is on screen, there's almost always paper around him. It is a part of him that stays until the very end when seemingly the paper has played its part in the story which was bringing the two people together. It can be concluded that Love in Paper Man is portrayed as something that needs consistent effort put into, even if there are no visible results from the start. Because it is a short movie, the portrayal of love and the search for it are well defined through the characters' interactions, choices and objects, namely the paper. The ending is emotional and it pays off all the efforts that the male protagonist put into finally getting together with the woman.